download and install the Dropbox client, first of all, open up your web browser and then go to dropbox.com right over here. And in dropbox.com, you can see that I'm in, uh, I'm signed in already. So what you can do is you can go over here onto your user panel right over here and click on install right over there. And this page will pop up. So what you can do is you can click on download Dropbox right over here and then uh, the Dropbox app will be downloaded as you can see right over here. Another way to download Dropbox without even signing in is by going on to dropbox.com right here. Let me just sign out out of this one so that I can show you where we can get this. So let's just go back to the main Dropbox space right here. So what you can do is you can scroll down at the bottom and here you can see that there's the Dropbox desktop app which you can download and install. So you can simply click on this and same page will open up from here as well. So you can click on download and the Dropbox installer will actually download just like this. And then in order to install this out, you have you have to open up the file and accept this. You can see that it shows a security warning that Dropbox can make changes. So I'm just going to run this out right over. It's totally safe right over here. I'm just going to give it some privileges right over here. And you can see that Dropbox installer is initializing. It's connecting to the internet as you can see. So it's downloading some files. Uh, so you have to wait a bit for this one. And it's almost done, as you can see right over here. So downloading Dropbox is completed and now it's installing Dropbox out, as you can see. Depending on your computer speed, it might take some time. You can see that it's almost finished on mine right over here. And then the Dropbox app has opened up as it has completed uh, installing, as you can see. And now it gives you an option to set up Dropbox right over here. So now you have to wait a bit again and here you can sign in using the same username and password uh, to, to use the Dropbox with the desktop. So I'm just going to enter my email address right over here to YouTube at Outlook.com right over here and then my password just like this and then the sign in. So once you sign in, you have to wait a bit until it connects and then you'll be able to uh, use Dropbox. You can see now that it says, well done, Dropbox is installed. And now you can, uh, now that you have Dropbox, uh, you, um, you get to know like what it has to offer. You can simply click next and then it'll open out uh, like Dropbox right over here. It says welcome to Dropbox right over here and you'll be able to work around with it. And Dropbox is shown right over here in uh, your uh, in your like task, task area as you can see right over here and this is the Dropbox icon right over here. So just pre click next right over here and this is the get starting with Dropbox paper and everything else all ready for you to work with and you can access Dropbox just by clicking on this icon on the desktop as well or by clicking on this one and Dropbox by default starts up. Uh, starts up by itself every time you start up your computer. So we'll be learning about how we can uh, learn more about Dropbox and work around with it in further lessons. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.